a friend of my son's got this gun today. This is the ad in the magazine. Uh, how do you pronounce that? Mazen Nagant. Mazen Nagant. Mazen Nagant. 9130 original stock. Uh, just we'll see what you all think about this and everything. If you all have any other history that he doesn't know about, maybe you could fill us in. Here's a little thing. But here's the gun itself. Uh, here you go. Go ahead and hold it up. Out this way. And uh, it's a big, long son of a gun. Uh, Want to tell us a little bit about it? Uh, All right. Well, first, made in 1939. Right here is a mark from the factory it came from. Uh, I can't pronounce the name of this factory, but it's a triangle shape, so it's like, I think it starts on F. Uh, it'd be worth more if it was a star, because it'd, it'd have a T in it, come from Tula, the Tula factory. Those are like 180. I got this for 120 at uh, Keesler's. Um, I don't know, I guess it's like the, uh, it's probably like a manufacturer's number. It's got a bunch of inspector, inspector's marks. Yeah, these inspector marks are kind of cool. If anybody... Right here, and then like there's one right here. If anybody knows any, uh, what these mean? Let me see if I can get close to it. And where's it at? Okay. Oh, it. there it is. If anybody knows what the marks, where they came from, you know, what kind of inspector, what country? Well, we also couldn't. We couldn't know. We didn't know what this mark right here meant. That wasn't an inspector mark. They usually didn't put the inspector marks next to this label right here. Uh huh. This little a circle with an X. We didn't really know what that was. The guy I was with, who's actually a pretty good, uh, he's pretty knowledge, pretty knowledgeable. There's a bunch more inspector marks. Yeah, it's got a bunch of them right here. And, and a, strip. a German recapture, meaning like they recaptured, like the Germans took this from a Russian. It would have this, it would have a star right here. I mean, a diamond right here, but we didn't get the diamond. I didn't have one. There's one over there, but the bolt didn't work as well as this one. See, but it would have had a some, diamond right here. Some marks here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, kind of hold it. I'm gonna try to see if I can get the whole gun in one shot. Look at that. It, it has a uh, came with a bayonet. And then the belt. Ammo pack. Belt, ammo pack. The bayonet on one. This tool. Uh, came, came with up. this bottle of uh, grease. What's the, ask what the grease is called. Well, yeah, uh, if anybody knows what this is called, it's it's lube up the gun. It starts with a C. What size shells are these? 5.4 uh, or 7.26. I don't, I don't remember the dimensions on them. 5.4 or 7.26 or something like that. All right, and uh, comes with you know it's got a there's the bayonet sticking on the end. Good lord, how'd you like to see that coming at? You? Actually, it's supposed to shoot better with the bayonet because the gun's sighted in with the bayonet on it. Wow! So it's actually better to shoot it with the bayonet on it. Might balance it. Yeah, that's yeah. what's that's how it's uh, their sighted with the bayonet. It's got its own cleaning rod here, built into the gun. And oh, show yeah. this down here. This is pretty. By the trigger, this pops up. There's some more markings. Oh, it's the same ones that are on the. Uh, yeah, I think it's a serial oh. number. And then. I don't know what that is. Y'all know what that is. That comes out. And it's pliers. And you suppose you use to clean out the inside of this or it's got its own whatever. Cool. cool. Man, it's pretty awesome. A little over hundred dollars. Got a pretty fun little thing here. Hundred fifty. Hundred fifty for all of this. Like there's a all that. How cool how cool does that sound? <laughs> Man. All right, guys. Well, if anybody uh, knows anything else about these kind of guns, just uh, twenty of them for five bucks. That's what looks so cool about these. You can get cheap, you can get really big, cheap ammo for cheap. You know, big ammo, oh. cheap. Blow some stuff yeah, up. Yeah, my thirty out six for I think twenty of them's about uh, nineteen bucks, almost a buck a pop. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right, pretty cool. We're gonna clean it up, and take a shot. Okay, well he's gonna take a shot in this log here with this thing. Count down from three. All right, All right three. Three, two, one. Good lord. Pick that sucker up. Can I shoot it now, Mark? Mark, Did they hit the log? They hit the log right there? I think so, yeah. Let's see. That was cool. Yeah, it came out like that, too. It didn't blow it apart, though. But man. Where did it hit That's as loud as the 30 out 6. Damn. Right there, look going. Right there. I want to be able to hold my ears. Is that it? I don't know. That's it. Yep, that's it. That's where it came out. It's about a nine, ten inch thick where it went through. That's where it blew right there. It blew a hole in it. Wow. Damn. Took a chunk out of this tree trunk. I want to shoot it, but I want to hold my ears one eye. He said it's not that loud. 